just felt that P. Diddy had a, um, that, like, Biggie was his sacrifice. Sacrifice. Tupac and Biggie had to be taken out of here. In order for Ja Rule, DMX, and Jay-Z to step up in the place that they're in right now. A lot of folks want to believe that Aaliyah was our angel. I'm sorry to inform you, she wasn't. The truth on why Aaliyah died, her death was planned out by someone who loved her and needed her for his own blood sacrifice. Now, Aaliyah was not as innocent as people play upon. There's a lot of things that Aaliyah was involved in. She was involved with two different men. I'll explain later. Meanwhile, Damien Dash was the guy she fell in love with. And while Damien Dash had Aaliyah falling in love with him, or as he said, he fell in love with her as well, Damien Dash was involved with another woman. Damien Dash didn't have love for Aaliyah. Damien Dash really didn't give two squats about Aaliyah. But what he did need her for is for his own journey. See, Damien Dash took the oath, just like his partner Jay-Z. And they all know about the sacrificing to become famous and wealthy. Well, let's just turn back the tables. Because before Dash, Jay-Z was popping this. Oh yeah. Don't get it twisted. Jay-Z and Aaliyah had a thing going on. That is not a lie if you've seen it in the past. Jay-Z would meet Aaliyah at the club or sometime bring her to the club. The thing is, Damien or Damon used to see Jay-Z with her. But Jay-Z really didn't have an interest. He kind of liked her, but he didn't. Dash really wanted her for other reasons, as seen here. Aaliyah was kind of given out, I hate to say it this way, but Aaliyah was kind of given out like a joint. She was what they call a jump around with these two particular guys. In Aaliyah last film, she plays this demonic vampire evil witch. It's amazing that certain roles you take can depict how your life will play out. And the final role that Aaliyah played she played this witch being turned into ash and to stone. But little did she know that playing a film would come out to be reality. I dealt with the whole idea of the blood sacrifice that a lot of the rappers, sports players, actors and actresses had to make in order to move up into the 50, 20 to 50 million dollar club. There's a direct link between black leaders and musicians, black musicians who were targeted for assassination, i.e. Jimi Hendrix, Bob Marley, Malcolm X, Dr. Martin Luther King, the Black Panther Party. And is there a connection between them, Jam Master J, Tupac, and Biggie? So I started doing further research and I picked up um, an FBI document. It says the Negro wants and needs something to be proud of. The Negro youth and moderate must be made to understand that if they succumb to revolutionary teachings, they will be dead revolutionary. Now, I didn't write that. This is an FBI document that I got my, my hands on. But in order to be up in that $20 million club getting to the Jay-Z thing, Mm -hmm. Tupac and Biggie had to be taken out of here in order for Ja Rule, DMX, and Jay-Z to step up in the place that they're in right now. I always felt that P. Diddy had a, um, and I still feel it, like he had, like, that, like Biggie was his sacrifice. Like, I, I never, I'm so convinced that this man had more than enough to do with it, like. All the evidence points to the fact that he had something to do with it. Puffy wasn't no real rapper like that, but as soon as Biggie was off the scene, he came out with his albums. 
And now he's up into the three and four hundred and five hundred million dollar club. Yeah. Jay Z, as I as I'm told, Jay Z was the one that was called in by the hidden hand, by the Illuminati, and they gave him a forty thousand um, dollar a night room on a beach somewhere that he spent the weekend with Denzel Washington and some other people sipping twenty thousand dollar bottles of Cristal, him and Beyonce. By the time he came back off of that trip, the split between him and Damon Dash began. Mm-hmm. I'm totally convinced that Beyonce had something to do with that like i'm totally convinced of it and she was like she was so insensitive too and even admitting on a radio show that she was so insensitive that, to where she wouldn't even give condolences i'm so convinced she had wow. something to do with that yo totally That's That's i deep. feel it i feel it i know she had something to do with it somebody on that end shine was supposed to be p Diddy's sacrifice but they're not through with him yet wow. mm. It was a funny thing going along, going along with Puffy. Aaliyah playing nose died because it was way overweight. Everyone aboard pretty much died. But during that day after the shoot, Rock the Boat, Damon was calling Aaliyah pretty uh, often. He was begging her to get on that plane so he could see her. So he said, see, it was all in the plans. Aaliyah was the blood sacrifice so that Damon could reach his fortune and his fame. I'll explain it as the film rolls. During the funeral, the guys come out with one hand over another. That's to let the elite know that the sacrifice have taken place. And now they're at the finale. Rachel Roy is well aware of the sacrifices that goes on in Hollywood. She was with Damon at the time of the death of Aaliyah. See, he met her as an intern working for Rockaware, fell in love with her, even impregnated her in 1999, about the same time he met Aaliyah. She knew about Aaliyah. She also knew Aaliyah was going to be their sacrifice for fortune and fame. When Aaliyah passed, he got back with Rachel, but did not marry her to 2005. He didn't want people to be seen so suspicious. Meanwhile, Aaliyah's death hits everybody like a storm. But don't get it twisted. What you didn't know is that Aaliyah was down with the boffin. Now, she wasn't down with the sacrifices, especially if she knew she was going to be sacrificed. But Aaliyah would always throw up her bathroom and sound like all the rest of them. Because she was a part of the brotherhood as well. On the female side. Don't get it twisted. The women sell out too. What did he get for sacrificing her? Rockaware. Pro kids. State property films. The clothing line of CEO, but Damon saw Jay-Z moving faster, so he wanted to get rid of Rockaware. So he sold it to Jay-Z for $30 million. But Jay-Z was always up on game. Jay-Z said, thanks, brother. Took it to his partners and flipped it for $204 million. Talk about screwing you without Vaseline. Ouch. Damon seen Jay-Z moving in the fast lane. So Damon would have secret talks and try to work out a distribution deal behind Dilly's back. Jay-Z went and told leaders of the boule this would make Jay trustworthy and give much wealth for his snitching. 